Currently, there are some NGOs who submitted wrong account number and wrong BBS in the UANGR. The second subject of importance is the concern of bundle heads and recipients who submitted more number of bundles, 10 bundles, 35 bundles to NGO, and being faced with the reality of receiving one or five bundles only. Then the concern of MOU and broadcast by the country director of UAAG, Apostle Ambassador Dr. Ken Wakama, and the dates of UAAG disbursement. These are all factors that we are going to address in this session today. Let's quickly address the concern of incorrect account details and BBN submitted by NGO CEOs in the app. I wish to intimate you that the schedule that was presented by UAAG to the bank was sorted since Thursday and Friday last week. Many NGOs were discovered to submit incorrect account details. Some NGO submitted nine digit account number instead of ten. Some did not even submit the correct BBN. Some don't even submit their name. If you are an NGO CEO right now, look out for the moment the app is going to be accessible and ensure your account number and BBN with name is correct. Again, there are those NGO who doesn't use updated Android devices. And when it is time for the UAAG ICC to uh, capture their BBN, even the name in their portal or dashboard, it is noticed that the BBN and the name is not available in, in that place. What you need to do is to use a different phone. Every NGO should engage in this activity right now. Use a different phone and log into your dashboard in the UAAG app to see if your name and BBN is intact as you filled it. It may actually be there in your phone because you haven't uh, cleared your catch for some time. Unknowingly that outsiders that are logging into the app cannot even access your BBN. And these are possible circumstances where some NGOs may not even receive disbursements after others have received theirs. Check this and ensure the, the intact of your BBN and name on the UAAG dashboard. If you are a subscriber or bundle head watching this video or NGO, pass it to your NGO or fellow NGOs to be aware of this reality. Sorting of account details was ongoing since Thursday and Friday and is still going on right now. Don't be left out. Let us quickly address the concerns of beneficiaries and bundle heads who are currently afraid of not going to receive disbursement because of the circulating rumor of lesser number of bundles to be allocated by UAAG to the NGOs. There is no cause for alarm at all. Assuming you apply for 500 or 1,000 bundles and you are given just either one to five bundles, Everyone needs to adjust their slots to fit with the number of bundles allocated by the UAAG to the NGO. That means if you are a bundle head that submitted 10 bundles, 45 bundles, and he's given just one bundle or five bundles, you need to adjust your slots to fit in with this. Every NGO who is given lesser number of bundles need to adjust their bundle expectation to suit with their total number of bundle heads in their NGO. You have 500 bundle heads or you have 1,000 bundle heads. Then capture all of them as recipients, 500 recipients or 1,000 recipients. So you still meet up with the lesser number of bundles that is allocated to you. As a bundle head who have 55 slots or even 200 slots with your NGO, all what you just need to do is to provide 55 or 200 different account details to your NGO to receive the same grant as a recipient. The difference between a bundle head and a beneficiary is still very clear. The beneficiary is just benefiting 
in one slot as a beneficiary, whereas you as a bundle head is benefiting times the number of slots that you submitted to your NGO. Notwithstanding this, ordinary beneficiaries who equally have their details with other NGO will still receive as a single beneficiary in the total number of NGOs they subscribe with. In the same vein, the bundle heads who equally have, say, 50 bundles, 10 bundles with other NGO will equally have 10 different slots to receive as recipients in the total number of NGOs that they subscribe with. It's purely a win-win for every cadre of subscribers in the ecosystem. On the concern of bundle heads, on the hostiles that would uh, address to the masses that the UAAG have no concern with the bundle heads, only the NGO and, and beneficiaries. In this aspect, I've seen some audience of bundle heads entertaining fears that their NGO will not disperse to them because the UAAG are no more involved in regulating their activities. This is incorrect. UAAG has already provided all modalities to checkmate the activities of this NGO. Have earlier informed you that there is a monitoring team in every state, in every region, to checkmate this disbursement of this grant of the NGO. After disbursement, they will tender the account statement to this monitoring body or to other appropriate institutions to verify their disbursement to you as a bundle head or recipient. Don't forget that there is an uh, MOU that is going to be signed by all NGOs standing as those instruments to regulate the activities of the UAAG and the NGO CEOs, all to ensure there is no uh, flaunting of those prescriptions in the MOU by the NGO. So there's no need for anyone to be scared uh, that the NGOs will boycott the entitlement that is meant for them. Therefore, don't entertain any fears because the UAAG is purely by your side to ensure you are disposed to as a bundle head or as a recipient. And don't entertain any fear of number of bundles that you submit to your NGO because you will still receive the grant in that same number of bundles not as a beneficiary. Up next is the concern over the MOU and the national broadcast by the country director of UAAG, Apostle Ambassador Dr. Ken Wakama. When is the MOU or the broadcast taking place? From information gotten from authenticated sources, the MOU and the broadcast by the country director can take place any moment from now in the new week that we are stepping in. It's already a disbursement hour that we are all in. MOU can take place even as this update is going on right now. On the concern of this grant not being from UAS or UAAG, I can't help but imagine why grant subscribers are beginning more interested on the source of the grant or we are interested in the disbursement or the alert in our bank account. Why should anyone be bothered on if the grant is from the federal government, is not from the UAS, is not from the UAAG? Please, this is not the concern of grant subscribers right now. Whatever is the donor, whatever is the source, as long as it is a grant that will take care of the difficulties, the distress, and the hunger, starvation going on right now. That is the concern of everyone at the moment, not where the source of this grant is from. The disbursement template. This has been lingering for a while. How much is the entitlement of a bundle head or recipient or NGO CEOs? The disbursement template is already out. For those who were speculating um, 10 million, 20 million, all this while, as a beneficiary, I'm using the word beneficiary or recipient, your entitlement is between 300,000 and 3 million naira. If you have 10 bundles, you count it 300,000 times 10. 
or 3 million times 10. That is what you are entitled to when this grant is dispersed. And it is not even the arrangement of the UAAG. The whole uh, grant entitlement is appropriated by the appropriate government financial body, all to ensure that there is a lift up of Nigerians from poverty, from struggles to business growth and expansion, and to equally ensure there is economic stability despite the amount of monies that is circulating in the country. For tomorrow Monday, a need for a start. And that God will help our people, the country director and his team, and our all grand pleasure group, those who are fighting to see that this whole thing works out, that for tomorrow, nothing will stand again as an obstacle. Disbursement will start rolling out. Of disbursement. Everyone wants to know when disbursement is taking place. It's been lingering since six years ago, five years ago. We were told money has dropped in the designated commercial bank accounts of UAAG. Busters that would came up and said money did not drop. A few days later, he returned to the ecosystem and intimated them that uh, money did not actually drop in the NGO beneficiary account. All these are pointers that disbursement is already in the weather. February is the month of disbursement. Use your tongue and count your teeth. If the UAAG have started sorting out the account details since Thursday and Friday last week in the bank, and the bank are returning the invalid or incorrect account details for correction by the UAAG, you know disbursement is taking place from Monday to Wednesday or Friday in the new week. Thank you for having me in Om Julia TV. I'm so excited for being here, especially as disbursement is finally happening in our time, and also for being a recipient of two awards in Shaobank, two awards in a single event, a single summit. This award can equally be yours if you leverage on Shaobank opportunities in the days to come after disbursement. Comment, like, turn on the notification bell, hence when we bring you updates on grant opportunities, other business opportunities in this channel, you will be immediately notified. Bye.